Well, you can see on the test bench that we're going to be testing the Mugen 5 by Scythe. Now, this CPU air cooler can run from 75 Intel CPU all the way to version 2011 and also runs on AMD all the way right through other than the new Ryzen AMD CPU that's going to be coming out. But I'm sure that Scythe will make a new CPU air cooler just for that. And uh, at the moment, this is the most quiet CPU air cooler I've ever heard. And I've tested a lot. There's going to be a chart in the video. So you, oh, I'm going to do obviously a comparison of the other CPU air coolers that I've done. Uh, we've tested the Mugen Max. And we've tested the Bay Bioko. And we've tested the Kabuto 3. So they're all made by Scythe. And this one seems to be the best one so far that I've heard. Anyway, so I'm going to be using on my test bench a, a Skylake 65K processor using uh, 2400 um, megahertz of RAM with, from Crucial, an Antec uh, Platinum power supply which is 1000 watts, no graphics card, just onboard graphics, so it's Intel HD graphics, and we're also using um, a gigabyte motherboard, but it's not an overclockable one, uh, but you can do like base clocks on it, but that's about it. And that is the Gigabyte H170. So I'm thinking about changing that motherboard so I can change the voltage because when you look on here, the voltage will like peak. It's not a true, it's more very, more of a synthetic benchmark. But we're all talking, we're just wondering about the heat and how audible it is and, the, and obviously the aesthetics of it. So we want to see if it's going to be really loud and annoying in the CPU case or is it going to be um, just really nice and quiet and still performs very well. So at the moment my voltage is on automatic at the moment so it's still going to peak around especially when I hit stress um, using Prime 95. I've also got CPU ID hardware so I can test the voltage and the power that you can see on the screen what's going up and obviously the RPMs as well of the fans or just a fan I should say and at the moment a voltage is from a peaking from 0.73 to all the way to 1.2 when I checked into the BIOS it was 1.3 so I don't know it's just fluttering about and stuff like that at the moment and the CPU is not overclocked because there's not an overclocking on board but it's uh, clocked at 4 gigahertz so now I'm just going to stress test it and this is a Prime 95 software and it's called, um, you basically stress uh, for heat and obviously uh, it ramps up the van to make sure that it keeps the CPU cool but depends on how great the CPU air cooler is. So let's go. Oh, at the moment, I was around 20 something degrees and it's around 22, 23 degrees in here and the rotations per minute of the fan was around 900 rotations per minute and at the moment it's going up to 175 and core temperature is around 59 to 60 degrees over all cores. So we'll run the test for 5 minutes and then we'll compare it as a synthetic bench test against the other CPU air coolers that we've tested. So as I've looked at the test um, results, I think that I'm quite blown away by the CPU air cooler. It's really quiet idling and it's even more quieter when it's uh, stress testing. It feels just, it sounds just the same. Um, so basically looking at the results, the voltage was around 1.236 uh, volts. That was automatic because this motherboard can't change the voltage and stuff. So I am going to change the motherboard around so I'll be able to do that next time. Um, but the fan rotations per minute went up to 1200 at the last sort of minute, but the core temperature, the last one core, went to 66 degrees, and then the rest were like 64, 63, and 65, which is super, super cool. And obviously I said about the room temperature in here is around 22, 23 degrees, and now it's idling after I shut it down for the last four minutes, it's around 22, 23 degrees over four cores, which is really cool. And that's idling, and you can hardly even hear the fan at all. It's going at rotations per minute at 604 rotations per minute, and voltage has obviously gone down and stuff like that. So now we're going to take a look at the old chart that we've got with the old CPU air coolers that we've already tested and stuff. So you've got the Scythe Mugen Max, which is at the top, and its maximum core temperature was 60 degrees. God damn, that is wow. 
Um, then we've got the Cryo Rig R1, 62 degrees, Cryo Rig H5, 63 degrees, Sci Fuma, um, 64 degrees, Ranging Tech Tysus, 66 degrees, um, Gelid Tranquilo Rev 4, uh, that is 69 degrees, Scarf Kabuto 3, 71 degrees, Scythe Biaco, 73 degrees, and the Silverstone NT08, 90 degrees. So the Scythe Mugen 5 is going to be joint place with Ranger Tech Tysus because Ranger Tech Tysus was at 66 degrees on one core, but so was the Scythe. But the Scythe had lower cores than what the Ranger Tech Tysus, so it's going to be in between the Scythe Boomer and the Ranger Tech Tysus, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, definitely worth getting this CPA cooler because obviously this CPA cooler is great. It's super quiet. You use it for HTPC or if you're just into generally quietness and you want high performance, go with this. This is also quite a good price. It's uh, around £41. So that is really quite cool, and it's sort of the same price as the side Mugen Max. Actually, the side Mugen Max is actually slightly a little bit more than this, and this only was released only a couple of weeks ago. So definitely get your hands on that, and it's more aesthetically pleasing. I really do like it. Anyway, there's a affiliate link down below if you want to buy this CPU air cooler, which I definitely generally recommend 100%. And if you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've just purchased this CPA cooler or any other CPA cooler or any other CPA cooler that you want me to test out. I will happily do it. Or if you want to test the AIO against CPA cooler, I'll do that. Or if you want real world benchmarks with using video editing, then rendering and I don't know, just do anything. Any, any questions, leave them down below. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next one.